Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today we're going to make layered clusters for our junk journals. But first let's have our shout out to Tony, Art with Journal, Art Journaling with Yuna, Coffee Paper Scissors, Christy B65, Shelly and Debbie. I appreciate each and every one of you. Alright you guys, this is what I've done to prep. I have these little tiny squares. Uh, they're little postcard squares. I do believe they're from digitalcollage.com and I have glued them onto a back of a piece of cardstock. And now what I'd like to do is I would like to get my Fisker's Mini picking, Pinking Shears and I'm going to just trim around each one leaving a nice little border of this brown cardstock. So I'm just trimming around the edge like this. Okay, so then you'll end up with something like this. Now what I did was I went ahead and I inked around the edge of this with my vintage photo and I <coughs> excuse me I also sewed around the edge of it you can see better on this side I sewed around the edge so I made a few of those <coughs> then <coughs> excuse me then I took a, a digital collage paper and I ripped it in rectangles and I went ahead and I inked the edges. I did the same thing with some music paper and I also did some coffee dyed paper. Just different shapes, different sizes I should say, of rectangles. I ripped them with my tear ruler and then I inked the, around the edge. Okay, so now what I would like to do is I'd like to start with the base. So I'm going to start with a large piece. So maybe your music paper is your large piece. That's okay. You can start with that. There's no really order in which you put these together. It's just nice to start with the big piece on the bottom. And then you kind of build from there and you, you angle them and you take them to different angles. Something like this. So they're angled, okay? So that's kind of a, that looks all right to me. Is that the right side? Yep, that's the right side. Okay, so I am going to take my glue stick and I'm just going to run a little bit of glue right down the center because I am going to take this to my sewing machine. If you're not going to sew it, which you don't have to sew them, you do want to glue them on a little more securely by adding more of the glue. I'm just holding it in place. That's what I'm trying to do. Now, I'm not going to put this one on yet. I'm going to take this one to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew around these squares or these rectangles, I should say. And I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so I have sewn around the rectangles. You can see it probably a little better here. Like I said, you don't have to sew around it. You can just glue them very well. And then, I don't remember which one I had, but I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I think I'm actually going to put it this way because everything else is kind of at an angle. And I'm going to use some sticky glue. <laughs> it's uh, the tacky glue just because it will hold it. Um, in place I think a little better maybe than just some Elmer's glue. It has a little bit more bite to it being that it's so sticky. So I'm just going to place it here like this. Now I'm going to bring in a piece of lace. Really make sure this is down. I'm going to bring in a little piece of lace and I think I'm going to accent it well, let's see here. Maybe just along the side. At the top. Maybe just at the top a little bit. 
And then I think I would like to do, okay, I think I want to do one on the side like that. So I'm going to fray the edges just a little so it doesn't look like I just cut it. And I'm going to go ahead and glue those down. So let's get those glued down. So if you get your rectangles all prepped and your little image that you want to put in the center ready to go, you can really just make quite a few of these little clusters and have them all ready for your junk journal making. And you just have to go to your stash and, and select what you need for for that particular journal. Now I have some bows that are shabby dabby doo -dah. I really like these little bows here that she has offered in her Etsy store. And I chose the neutrals, the ones that I picked. And so I'm just going to quickly cut this out. And I'm going to place this on my cluster. There we go. And I'm going to take my ink and I'm just going to highlight just a little bit. I'm not going to do all of it, just to make it stand out just a little bit. I'm going to take my glue and I think I want it to go right down there at the bottom. You guys, if you're enjoying this video, please give me a thumbs up and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Here we are and I have another one I made. Here's another one that I made earlier as I was practicing. You guys, I've had great fun. I hope to see you in my next video. I'll see you there guys. Bye now.